When the Dalai Lama visited Tawang last week in Arunachal Pradesh, he did so by road, traveling 500 kilometers from Guwahati up and down the mountains. The roads were mostly so bad that Chief Minister Pema Khandu, who traveled with the Dalai Lama, publicly apologized for them. Also desperately needed is an improvement in power supply in the state. Both are crucial for infrastructure, especially in a border state like Arunachal. He traveled eight hours by road. Hmm. How was the journey? 82 year old, still quite strong. <laughs> <laughs> the Dalai Lama was joking. But the drive to Tawang is no laughing matter. Bhalukpong to Bomdila, many stretches of road are just slush, treacherous in the fog. To Sela Pass, passable. But the descent, hair raising. The swing of things in this car should give you an idea about how bad it is, the roads. And believe it or not, it was much worse a couple of days ago when we went from Tawang to Bomdila to meet the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Before the Dalai Lama's sermon at Tawang, Arunachal's chief minister publicly said sorry. All the way by road from Guwahati to Tawang. And you all have traveled, I believe, by road. So road, it, at this moment, is not in a very good condition. So regarding that thing, I have, you know, I apologize. So next time he comes, yes, roads will be better? We are, we are, we are, yes, yes, road will be very much better, and, you know, connectivity will, will be much more improved in that way. Locals say roads were much worse before. It's the power situation that's really going downhill. The bijli banane wale jo plant lage hain, wo unko hamesa pani ki problem rehti hai. Pema Khandu has invited Dalai Lama to hold a major Buddhist festival at Tawang, the Kala Chakra, and promised both power supply and roads will be overhauled in time for that. Tawang is hoping the monk will return soon. At the one with Sanjay Chakravarti, Manudipa Banerjee, NDTV.